Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls 2. Anyway, let's go back to where we were, which was in the ex, uh, ex wait, was that the exile holding cell? I wasn't even paying attention to the actual name. Either way, it's a holding cell. It'd be funny if we were back in here and like some dude just immediately like just took the bonfire out of there and he just like closed the door and he's like, aha, hey, you're stuck here forever now and it's just game over. Unless you have a homeward bone. <laughs> then you just warp to the bonfire, he just took it out of the room, so you're like right next to him here. So you just got like this really angry face on. Whoa. Whoa. Oh god. Oh jeez. Oh god, this guy. These, these hide knights, man, they're no laughing matter. They're no joke. They're nothing to sneeze at. They're deadly. They will fuck your day up. For real. Actually, I can probably take that mace off, and I bet I might be just barely below the 50% equipment load. I never use the damn thing. It's kind of on there for visual reasons. You know, sword and mace. It's a nice, cool looking combo. Either way, we, can, we did get below 50 by taking it off, by the way, which is nice. You're dead. This dog over here is dead next. Whoa, hey, whoa. Calm down there, Fido. And there should be another SS Flash shard in here. Always glad to have more shards. Another large shard as well, nice. Shards of all types are nice. SS Flash shards, Titanite shards, all those things. And we can open up this. This is a shortcut back to the good old McDuff's bonfire, which is definitely nice. We're not going to go over there. No, actually, we might as well. I think. Yeah, I think we might as well go this way. I was thinking about going a different way. But let's go this way. We should have the key. I believe you get the key when you, when you show up the other way from the pursuer. Oh, I forgot about you. It's been a while since I've gone this way. I know if I go in that room, there's like an explodey guy in there, so I don't really want to go in there. Don't fuck with the explodey guys, man. That's like rule number like 17. Rule number one is, is don't get hit. That's been specified by like everybody. Everybody everywhere forever. So I don't feel like I need to go into any additional detail. Whoa, hey, whoa. Oh, I'm supposed to go this way. Oh no no, you can you can go the other way, but we're we're just gonna go this way now. No, we're not. We're already halfway over here. Okay. Uh, isn't there like an explosive thing here? Yeah, there it goes. And there's a there's a break of wall, which is why I was wondering. <laughs> You don't get that much here. Um, I think you get like the chest piece that I started out with, like the, the Archeric Rose or whatever, but you also get the shield, which is nice. I think this is the only way you can get that shield. You bastard. Trying to shoot me where I can't get you? Well, guess what? I can just jump right down here and get you. But you didn't think I would, though. You, but you thought I'd be, but you thought I'd be thinking it's too much trouble. Well, no, because I was going to go up here anyway. Whatever. Yeah. How's it going, man? Depending on how many episodes I've done, this might actually this episode might actually come out after Bloodborne comes out, which will be kinda neat. Cause now, now is officially the point where it's like it hasn't come out yet, but I'm talking I can be talking about it. I mean it hasn't come out yet, but I could be like talking about it, not knowing about things even though the time the video's up, maybe I actually do know things because it's uh, I'm gonna stop talking now. About that, not 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 forever. But yeah, can't wait, can't wait. All my friends are hyped about it as well.
And I know, I remember, I remember I, like I mentioned before that apparently there's going to be no invasion messages. Again, I don't know this for sure, so if it's the game out by the time the video's up and there are invasion messages, um, you know. In fact, this whole this this whole playthrough might might be done before it's out because I, I could, frankly I can beat this game pretty damn quick, and I still got like uh, like four days to do it. Probably gonna have it done in three days. But uh, yeah, especially considering I have like I'm having a long weekend this weekend. I got four days off, which is really nice. Uh, but I mean, no, the only day that actually oh, actually I just really, why am I even going up here? I get I get literally no benefit from coming up here right now. Because I don't have a sacred branch of yore to unfreeze what's his face. So now I'm just pissing off all these guys for no reason. Yeah. The thing hurts, man. You don't want to get hit by that. Okay, here's what I'm going to do, though. I'm going to quickly. I want to light a bonfire over there. I'm not going to rest at it because I don't want these guys to respawn. Oh, wait. There's a guy over here. Don't want to get snuck up on. But I want to light the bonfire up there, and I'm just going to run back, because I want to get something. Actually, no. No, no, lighting it does set it as a resting point, so I can homo bone to it. And I might as well rest anyway. I'm not really, gonna, I'm not really like, going to fight that many more dudes by, by uh, resting it, so I might as well get my weapon repaired, get my healing miracles back. And I'm going to go, I'm going to go get something, and I'm going to homo bone back here. Because, while I may have this set now, I might want to change to a different set in the future, which I might do. I don't think I will, but I might do it. Because I feel like if I... Also, there's a gargoyle over there. Ah. Because if I do, uh, it'll likely be for PvP, but I don't think I'm going to even bother with PvP videos until Scholar the First Sin comes out. So that's a thing. Alright, we're going to pilot them right now. Hum -dum -dum -dum. Took more damage than I thought it would from that little fall. But it's okay. We'll just use our healing miracle. Ooh. I like the sprinting animations in this game. I don't know why. I just do. And do I really need a, like a better reason than that? Then, you know, I just do. I don't think so. Is there more dudes coming after me? I don't think so. Alright, secret wall here. Kinda hope they don't have these in Bloodborne because I don't want to be spending a like all the time pressing up against all the walls and spamming X. But you know, maybe I'll have to do that, I don't know. There's also a ring over here. Oh, I forgot there's a little doorway there. Oh, okay. Huh. Can make that jump. Don't want to fall down. You'll die. And there's one more thing. And here we go. Golden Wing Shield. Not particularly the best shield ever. It's got some relatively well rounded defenses, but the thing I like about it is it just looks really cool. <laughs> so, I'll actually just show you really quick, I guess, because I do think it looks pretty damn cool. But a bing! Pretty nice, right? Pretty nice. Looks dope as heck, at least. Oops. But, uh, yeah. Either way, let's use a Homer Bone now so we can save ourselves the run back. Oh, we picked up another shard, apparently. When did we do that? Oh, yeah, we got it from the chest. Uh, nearby McDuff's. Right, I'm gonna take the ladder this time, because I don't wanna take all that falling damage. Oh, we didn't rest, though, so we don't really get our heal back. Whatever. We barely lost any weapon durability. And it's only one heal, which we're probably not gonna find and have that much use for, so. Wow, that texture is awful. I just noticed this one. Ah, oh, It's gross. It's like that one, too. The other ones don't look that bad. Don't get me wrong, textures can always look more detailed, but, uh... That one just kind of looked bad. 
it, it was below the point of acceptability, if that's even a word. I don't even think that's a word, but you, you know what I mean when I say it, though. It's below the point of being acceptable. At least in contrast to the rest of the game. I mean, hey, you know, if you need, if you, if you're on, a, if your game's on a budget, and you can't swing, I don't see why, I don't see why a budget would affect like the textures, maybe. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how games are made. I, I know a good game though when I see one, and I am relatively good at explaining why it would be a good one and stuff like that, you know. Because, I mean, you know, I, I hate when people are like, oh, well, you don't know how to make games, so you can't, you can't say it's bad. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, I definitely can. And, like, like, you know, analyzing a game and, like, reviewing a game is completely different from making a game, okay? It, it's, it's completely different. Like, I mean, like, case in point, somebody can make a game and make it completely shitty if, if, they, if they knew how to make a good game or how to judge a game based on like how good it is wouldn't they have said this isn't good enough and go back and like change stuff and wouldn't they've had better ideas when making it like this isn't gonna work i can't do this i need to do something else it's, no it's that's a different skill to know whether something's a good idea or not or if something would work in terms of making a game i mean you know there's been a, also these guys takes so little damage from my longsword because it's a fire longsword and all fighting in the water. But uh, yeah, it, it, it takes very different thing. Like it, it's different to know how to, like what makes a good game than it is to make a good game, you know. And even then, I guess like, people might be strapped for time. People might also cut corners. Oh shit! And that's that's another thing. They might know it's not good, but they're releasing it anyway. At the same time, you know, a lot of people will, like think like this game's amazing. I made this; it's so cool. And a lot of times they'll be biased because you know they made it. I mean, I, I wouldn't blame them for being biased. You know, you, you gotta love the things you make. You gotta be proud of what you make, even if it isn't that good. You don't necessarily have to think it's good, but you gotta be proud of it. Oh damn! Yeah. Okay, now you. I'm fucking just contradicting myself. Really. You don't have to be proud of it, but you should be proud of the work that you put into it. I think that's the best way to, do it, to explain something. The guy who made Bad Rats, yeah, it's broken, it's garbage. But you know what, he's probably spent a lot of time making it, or not, I don't know. But he spent time making it, he should be proud of the, what he achieved in that time, even if it wasn't so good. He should, maybe, shouldn't necessarily be proud of what occurred uh, from that time. Oh fuck, oh my god, I died because my guy tried to backstab the dude when I was trying to attack the other dude. And it made it so like I like, oh my god, I got so ripped off there. You all saw that. If you didn't see it, go back and rewatch. You'll see my guy do the backstabbing thing on the undead guy because he was trying to hit the back of the other guy. Even though I was complete, I was locked onto the undead guy. I think maybe I wasn't locked onto anything. Either way, though, what a jip! What a jip! I was completely ripped off there. I would have just hit the undead dude and killed him, but instead it just like it just wasted my. See, that's one thing I don't like. Because I mean, when the, when the hilt ba when the hilt bash like thing showed like, when they showed that off on Dark Souls 2, everyone was like, "Oh, this is gonna fix it with lag stabbing." It didn't. There's still so much lag stabbing in this game, and it's, been, it's mainly because in addition to adding that that like uh, thing you need to to open and stuff like that. They also made the backstab hitbox uh, much bigger, though. So as a result, even though there's less latency, there's still a lot more room for error in terms of like where you can backstab somebody, which just leads to the same effect. And then all that happens is you have issues like that with enemies where you try to backstab them and they're just like, you know, it doesn't hit the right one. But oh well, it is what it is. We'll just move on. We're gonna we're probably just gonna rush past most of these guys because frankly I'm sick of dealing with them. With a fire longsword in this area, just a pain in the ass. There you're dead. See, you would have died in one hit. I would have been just dandy, fine and dandy. These guys follow you up here? I hope not. Oh, that's not how far I want to go. Uh. Yeah, but you know, I said I said before. Overall, I think Dark Souls 2 is mechanically a bit better than uh, 
Dark Souls 1, but I also said it had its flaws, and that is definitely one of the flaws. The terrible, terrible backstabbing system. On paper, it sounds like a good idea. Like, oh, people will get rubber banded back because of backstabbing. Let's add a bit of a delay. Unfortunately, though, uh, most weapons, there's a lot of weapons that, that backstab very quickly, like daggers, where the delay is almost pointless. And, and uh, the backstab window is too big. It's just too big. Oh shit! Forgot about you. Alright, now they're all dead, so we can pull this lever without getting completely assaulted. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Just go ahead and ignore me, Teal. That's what, that's what I want you to do. Don't want you to waste your time there. Are you ready? Let's do this. Let's don't do the do this, man. Whoa, man, that red thing that makes very little sense. What a nice lady. That is a lady, by the way, for those who don't know. La, 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 la. No, no, somebody's gonna fight in melee. The lights being out isn't that big of a deal. It affects like it affects your effective uh, lock on range. You know, when she's so far away, you can't lock onto her. But if you're gonna be in melee anyway, it's not a big deal. Sometimes she'll leap away and you'll get unlocked. But uh, but uh, it's not a big deal as long as you just don't lose track of her. Whoop. Stop getting wrecked, man. Yeah, there's a there's sort of like a side quest if you summon and succeed at a boss with Luka Teal, like in, uh, I believe three of them. I think you should be summoned for four though. But if you succeed with her in three, you get uh, you'll run into her later and she'll give you uh, her equipment. But of course, if she dies in this one, we can't really possibly do that unless we use some bonfire aesthetics. But you know, I don't really care that much for it. Her equipment isn't that good. It looks like pretty dope though. I mean, like, as you can see for yourself, she's wearing the equipment that she gives you. Oh, there goes all of the unlock. We still want to try to kill her before Luke Till dies, so let's just bum rush it now. Not, like, not, not senselessly, though. We don't want to, like, die. There we go. See? We did it. Luke Till, you have a sliver of health left. Good job. You were just good enough. There's a little bit of health for you. Don't spend it all in one place. Going on here, so going. All right. Oh. All right. Fragrant Ranch of Yore and Elizabeth Mushroom. Elizabeth Mushroom. I'm a bonfire lit. All right. We're one fourth done with the beginning of the game. One fourth done with the beginning. Alright, now, let's quickly, is there any equipment we can upgrade? I don't think there is. Did we get any chunks? I don't think we did, but it's worth checking. Yeah, we didn't. Okay, uh, we can upgrade our armor more, though. We got another large shard. Oh, we should have actually waited, because I think we could still use more of those for our shield. Yeah, oh well. We'll be able to get like, like, an abundance of large shards soon enough, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, okay, let's, uh, let's also level up. Is important you, thing. that is more now that we want let's get more attunement let's see if we can get our agility up. I think it's like 89 that like gives you your next thing so we'll get that up to 25 and we'll put the rest in faith which is just one point yeah we'll put it in faith I mean, again, we have we have all these attunement slots we can't use. The only reason I'm putting it, uh, the points there as opposed to 
um, adaptability for agility is just because we're going to put it there anyway. I know I can use a, a soul vessel, but I just I don't, I don't really care enough. But uh, yeah. So that'll do it for this episode. Glad we managed to kill the boss before time got too high. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next one where we will be going to what's going on during our, I haven't even thought of it yet because frankly I think it's going to be the last one I record for now so I'll think of it the one I'm going to record next time either way uh, you guys have a good one um, I'll see you guys in the next one I, I think we're probably going to go for oh, wait, no, we can't go to the rotten yet because the ladder's not there we'll go somewhere bye <laughs>